thank you so much for for doing this for us tell us about returning to training how how pleased are you to be back on the training floor (laughs) couldn't be better couldn't be better now really uh for me i've really missed uh missed playing with uh, with my teammates and just playing football in general so it's the best uh, best possible outcome for me yeah. we saw a big grin on your face on the pictures that the uh, the club posted <laughs> on the website what uh, what was involved in the first session and who were you with because it was only small groups wasn't it yeah uh we we're in small groups um who was i with in the first training i think with david brooks who just returned from injury as well um what the other ones I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> it was so <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I forgot everything. I just, I just, I just looked at the ball. Fair enough. Tell us what sort of things you were doing then. What, what sort of tra- What did training involve? Was it just fitness work or other stuff? Yeah, like uh, fitness work and some bo- some football work as well. So it's like combined. And uh, yeah, just, you know, you you always do some fitness work because, uh, yeah, everyone has been in lockdown. So you need to get your fitness up back again, which is logical. Um, but it's like always combined with the ball. So with, with a finishing drill or something else and uh, passing drill. So, uh, yeah, all good. And how different is it to a normal training day? Because you're not really allowed in the pavilion much. You don't, you don't shower there or eat yeah. there or how, how different is it? Yeah, it is a bit strange, though, to be honest. Uh, like, AFC Bournemouth and the Premier League have done everything they could, uh, like, to get the safest environment. So, you have 15 minutes preparation time. You'll just come in your car, you'll take your boots, you go straight to the gym. Uh, not a lot of persons allowed. You'll go to the pitch, social distancing. So, there's a lot of things that you will need to keep in mind to make sure that you don't put anyone at risk. Uh, but as soon as you come on the pitch, it's, uh, yeah. You know, you can better play football with social distancing than, than don't play football at all. So I'm, off, I'm for me, it's all good. And can you still have all the uh, the banter that you used to if there's a distance away? Were there still plenty of jokes flying around? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That will never leave. <laughs> who who surprised you in your first group back? Who's got the? Did anyone come back with particularly wild hair or or having talking about a strange <laughs> hobby they've taken up? No, not really. To be honest, I'm the. I think I took the the biggest change of all because I had a massive afro and I've shaved it all off. To be honest, so ah. it's short now. So uh, <laughs> that that yeah, that's a a huge difference. But besides that, I think more players like shave their hair off instead of the, that they let their hair grow. So uh, they're looking more than, uh, like like you know instead of uh, instead of some instead of like a caveman or something else. I've noticed this, so I've set a trend. But it looks good, though. Yeah, and this is this is entirely by choice, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even during the lockdown, you didn't think, uh, oh, let some hair grow. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> uh, it would be very embarrassing. <laughs> no, what, no, I leave it like uh, that. I like it. It's good. Thanks, mate. What about what about your fitness? How's uh, how's your foot injury? Are you fully recovered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the positive thing uh, of this virus, yeah. Uh, like we had some injuries as well just in general at the whole squad so everyone is fit and hungry as well so uh, that includes me I'm uh, 100% fit and I'm hoping to stay fit I'm doing everything I can to stay fit so uh, fingers crossed yeah we'll keep your fi- our fingers crossed for you as well how how frustrating was it the two spells out you had during the season yeah I just told someone else as well it's like it's difficult to put that into words uh, especially with my personality and my character, like uh, football is everything for me. Like just practicing it every day, that's what really makes me happy. So just being unable to do that, it's like it's really, really frustrating for me. And uh, what's frustrating as well is like every club I went to, every transfer I made, like the first season I came there, I always, uh, yeah, you always like to leave a mark as a player from the first moment you are there. So I was planning on doing that as well here, and uh, yeah, frustrating if if things don't turn out that way but that's how life works and that's how football works I mean you can uh, yeah not always can everything go not everything can, not everything can always go as you want so uh, you just need to get adjust to it and make the best out of it how easy was it to, to cope with though particularly that first one right at the start of the season after after a good pre-season yeah, really frustrating, really frustrating I came uh, to AFC Bournemouth we uh, played against Olympique Lyon 
Uh, we won 3-0. I played a good game. Uh, the gaffer was buzzing. So I was really looking forward to playing. And then, uh, yeah, to get out with an injury, it's, it's the worst thing possible. And in a new country, are you living on your own as well? I mean, how, how difficult is it then and, and now in lockdown as well, when you're, when you're stuck on your own without your family and friends around? Yeah, um, to be honest, for me, I don't really mind being alone. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'll, I'll enjoy myself. Um, but my mother is in the UK as well, my little sister. So um, they were during lockdown. They were here with me. So that helped a lot. I mean, uh, she cooks for me. And she, <laughs> she washed my clothes and stuff like that. So that helped. <laughs> <laughs> so that helped. And um, yeah, besides that, even if I'm on my own, I always manage. Uh, I like to do things on my own as well. I read books. I watch uh, a lot of movies on Netflix. And no, I'll get by. Oh, fair enough. And everyone's itching for football to return. Are you are you itching even more than most, though? Because, like you said, you want to leave a mark. You want to prove that you belong in this league. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It has really been bothering me, as I've said before, that I couldn't uh, really prove myself immediately from the start of the season. And, um, yeah, I'm just very hungry and very eager to prove myself that, uh, yeah, that I have the quality to take what it, what it takes to prove myself in the Premier League. And, obviously show my teammates and uh, the staff that uh, believed in me because they brought me here to, yeah, like, how do I say it properly, like paying them back that trust and that belief in me. So uh, I'm very eager and, uh, and uh, hungry to do that, yeah. And you could leave quite a mark if you, if you helped big time in these final nine games and kept Bournemouth in the Premier League. What would that mean to you? Nah, the world, everything. Now I'm uh, planning on doing that. <laughs> Now I'm doing everything, uh, everything, everything I can. Um, uh, I already did everything I could, but I'm even doing more than I can now. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the to the remaining games here. Yeah? And uh, the training has been good so far. I feel good and I'm uh, feeling fit. So uh, yeah, the the future is bright for me. And how else? You mentioned movies and uh, your mum doing the cooking and stuff. How else did you fill your time in in lockdown? Are you still doing the Arabic lessons? Yeah, yeah, as well, as well, as well, as well. Um, but I'm doing them on, on, I've been doing them uh, online now. But uh, I've been still doing my Arabic lessons. Uh, I've bought some new books. Uh, I've been reading the autobiography of Mike Tyson now. I've ordered the book from Muhammad Ali now. Um, I'm watching Michael, Michael Jordan, The Last Dance. So there's always, uh, there's always something to do. I've just watched a documentary of Usmani Dembele as well. So uh, there's always something to do. Tell me about that drive and determination that Michael Jordan's been showing, the, uh, the real will to win. You said that you're <laughs> absolutely determined to make this mark, but are you learning anything from one of the greats of sport of all time and, and, and his attitude watching that series? Yeah, definitely. You can, uh, everyone can learn from, from the biggest athletes in the world. And uh, Yeah, his drive is just something else. It basically makes you feel bad. Like, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Even when I watched the, the, the series, it just made me feel bad. Like, it just made me realize that even I thought that I was doing everything I could, but there's always more you can do. So uh, now it's always good to, uh, yeah, to like give your, your mind and your, uh, your thoughts some freshness and uh, make sure that you aim for the best, uh, the best things possible. Oh, good stuff. And I should have long before now wished you, is it Ramadan Mubarak? Is that what, you do, uh, is that what I should have said? <laughs> How's, uh, how's Ramadan been for you in your first one in Bournemouth and with all the training great. you've had to do and the fasting? Great, great, to be honest, really. Uh, always after the, I finish the Ramadan, I like, can really feel that my body has improved uh, physically wise. So I've been training now as well uh, without eating and drinking and um, it's nearly done. I've been doing it for a month now and I can really feel that my body is getting stronger and my concentration level is getting a lot better. So uh, every year, every year of the Ramadan comes, it's, it's, for me, it's like a blessing as well because it like really resets my body and uh, gets my fitness like back up as well. Well, it's been terrific talking to you. I know I'm very like impressed right. with your devotion, your <laughs> drive, and I look forward to seeing you in these final <laughs> nine games. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you for your time.